Hi, let's figure out what these hidden folders are on drive C and is it possible to delete them. I'm talking about the recycle bin, Windows BT, Windows WS, WinRE agent, config MSI, recovery and system volume information. Some of them at certain moments can take up quite a lot of space, which means the question arises whether it is necessary to get rid of it. Let's decide how to properly handle these folders. This is PC No Problems channel, subscribe and don't forget to support the video with your comments and likes. The first folder – Recycle Bin. This is a folder of the Windows Recycle Bin. It is needed to manage files that you have deleted and placed in the Recycle Bin. And even if you disable it, this folder remains, although it will not take up space on your C drive. There is no need to delete the folder itself, and even if you delete it, it will appear as needed. Windows BT is the folder created when updating or upgrading Windows. Files from previous version or build of Windows are placed in it to allow you to return back to the previous version. Immediately after the update this folder may be large, but after 7 or 30 days it should be automatically cleared. If this doesn't happen for some reason, for example due to some kind of failure, you can clean up this folder using the built-in Disk Cleanup feature. Go to Disk Properties and click the Details button. And in this list select Temporary Files. And in the next list select Temporary Windows Installation Files and delete all this with the button at the top. In older versions of Windows, the Clean Manager utility is used. To launch it, press the Windows and R keys together, type Clean MGR, Drive C, click on System Files at the bottom. Here you can select Windows Update Logs, and below are the same temporary Windows installation files. After clicking OK, everything will be deleted. After such cleaning, if that Windows BT folder still remains on drive C, you can delete it in the usual way by pressing the L key and emptying the recycle bin or shift the L combination without placing it in the recycle bin. By the way, we have a new video on our channel about the maximum clearing of the cache from drive C. There you will learn about a large number of opportunities to delete unnecessary things on your computer. I also recommend you our app PC No Problems with a free function to clean the disk from temporary files and different garbage. It's much faster than doing everything manually. I use this program myself. Next folder Windows WS also appears after the update and store the installation files required for it. It should clear automatically, but this is not always happens. It is also safe to clean and remove if you do not intend to return to previous version of Windows. Use the same temporary file cleaner from Windows and delete this folder as usual. If you have a Windows.old folder, this means you updated Windows to a completely different version or reinstalled Windows on the same disk without formatting. If you don't need the previous Windows and won't return to it, you can delete this folder. What should you do if deleting some of the folders is restricted? Go to its properties, security tab, advanced button. The owner must be your user, administrator. If that's not the case, click change, advanced at the bottom, run a search and find your user. Apply the changes and after that you should have all rights to this folder and you can do any actions with it. The next folder – WinRE Agent. It's again associated with system updates because they are so frequent. Remember that the PC and P program can easily disable all updates in Windows in one click and can even disable the built-in antivirus. The WinRE Agent folder contains temporary files that may be needed if the update fails due to some error. So, if everything is fine with your PC, this folder is no longer needed, it can be deleted. The only recommendation is to check the update center to ensure that no installations are currently being carried out and that there will be no conflict due to the deletion of this folder. Config.msi Backup copies of important system files are saved here, including registry data that were replaced during the installation of various programs 
using the Windows installer. Thus, in case of failures, these files can be returned back. But if everything went well and works as it should, these files are no longer needed. They are usually removed automatically, but not always. If you install something a long time ago and everything works as it should, you can safely delete this folder. Recovery. This folder is protected for a reason. It contains the files necessary to run the system recovery program in the event that Windows cannot boot. This is a useful thing and it's good to know how to use it. Therefore, we do not touch this folder. System volume information. This folder stores data necessary for services to operate on this hard drive, as well as data for restoring the system or files using restore points. By default, access to this folder is closed, and if it suddenly takes up a lot of space, go to the recovery point settings and check if there are any unnecessary points there. Write in the comments what other folders you would like to know about. If you like such informative episodes, please like and also write about it so that I can plan new interesting episodes. That's all, see you in the comments.